Yo, what's up guys? You're watching Smart G Gaming and we're on to our third submachine gun gold camo now, which is for the Weevil, and this is my second preferred submachine gun of all. I absolutely love and adore the Weevil. It's a really, really trustworthy gun. That's what it looks like, guys, when you get the gold camo on this one. It's really, really tasty. I'm really, really liking that one. And as always, guys, with any gun that you use or any weapon that you're trying to camo up to gold, you will need to get the headshots first. There's always 100 headshots. Some of the shotguns, though, they do just require the kills, but we're not onto shotguns at the moment. We're just on the submachine guns, but I thought I'd just say that because not every gun requires headshots. But um, in total, as I said, you need 100 headshots, and they are fairly difficult with the submachine guns because you can't have the high caliber attachment on like you do the assault rifles. So they do like to give us a challenge, and there's nothing really I can do to help along with the headshots apart from maybe say to you go on to hardcore or just run into the enemy spawn. Sometimes the enemy are receiving their care packages or they're using their score streaks and they just stand around. You can get the easy headshots that way or just run and gun like I do and just hopefully get those headshots um, as soon as you possibly can. They will come guys so keep plugging away with them. Then once you've got the 100 headshots you will open up the next 5 specialist challenges. Um, they're not that hard guys, they are fairly fairly easy. I can normally get the, them 5 specialist challenges out of the way, maybe in about 3 or 4 games. So they're not that hard. And that's what you're after guys, the gold camo. Once you've opened up all those challenges and unlocks, you then get that lovely gold camo. I would always use fast mags guys, it really helps me and I would always use the grip. Um, because some of these submachine guns, the Weevil not so much, but um, they do normally have a really high recoil rate. So again, you know, you want something, we like the grip, the attachment to just kind of um, suppress that recoil um, while you're firing. It does help. In the perks, I'd always have the tactical mask on, on the perk 3, with the gung-ho, and um, I'd always have maybe scavenger on. Um, there is a difference with the scavenger, especially when you're after bloodthirsty, because sometimes scavenger will really help you. You don't want your bullets to be going low with that weapon that you're trying to get the bloodthirsties for. So once you're after bloodthirsties, I would always recommend having the scavenger on. And in the first perk, I would always recommend have an overclock on if you're after your specialist character's abilities fast, and maybe flat jacket. Okay, so anyway, we're now going to just test this weapon out. This is what the Weevil's all about. We're going to get a couple of kills there. And like I said, it's a really trustworthy gun. Where he came from, I didn't even see that one. Now he's laying on the floor, he's coming on the floor. I mean, I've just literally just came into this game halfway through. Um, so we're just testing this gun out. So I'm not really um, up on what the enemy are doing. Um, so, yeah, we're just going to just make the most of this weapon and see what it's all about. Like I said, I really like this one. Um, it's, again, I think with the submachine guns, I prefer to have the hip fire more than I do actually aiming in on the enemy. Hip fire always seems to be a little bit more accurate, especially when you're using the, the, uh, the gung-ho as your perk free, like I do. So it really does help along. And it is a really effective gun as well. It seems that even though you don't have the quick draw on this Weevil gun as well, that sometimes when you do um, obviously go for that hip fire when you're after that kill, it will do that reasonably fast, okay? It will get your gun up reasonably fast without even having quick draw on. So again, it's a lightweight weapon and the damage on this is pretty good as well. So like I said, normally three, maybe two to three bullets will kill an enemy, which is pretty good as what you want off a of submachine gun like this. But the good thing about the Weevil as well is I do like the look of it. The look of it is quite compact, it's quite small looking, but it's got lots of stuff on that gun that makes it look a little bit more bigger and more fiercer than what it actually is. So I do like that. Always as well guys, anything to do with helping you with the bloodthirsties and two rapid kills and those kind of specialist challenges at the end there, is always do like I do, always try and run into the enemy spawn, just watch when you get shot from behind though, because I don't even see this geezer behind me, but there we go, it does happen sometimes, didn't even see him come up on the map either, so uh, he must be using a perk, something like Ghost or something like that, anyway. We did win that game. We're now going to go into another one, even though I only came into it halfway. So we're going to start another game now. And uh, like I say, we're still going to have a little play around with this gun, just so you can see this Weevil in uh, full motion and also see it when it is gold. Um, now, I always go into the mosh pit, so most of my games are always going to be Nuketown. And I find that Nuketown does help a lot as well, if you can get Nuketown, guys. I know it is a bonus map. Sometimes if you have to, uh, to pay for this. Now, this is another thing I was going to say before I go into anything else. Just kind of look how many bullets I use here. Just standard bullets to um, destroy that guardian there. I think it worked out with something like about 50, 60, 70, about 80 bullets, standard bullets to shoot that guardian. So if you're wondering how many bullets it takes off the weevil to kill a guard or to shoot, destroy a guardian, that's how many it takes. I think it's roughly about 82, 87, something like that, I think, or 77, I think it was, something like that. Um, but obviously with the FMJ, the full metal jacket, 
um, attachment, you will get that a lot less. Um, but that's interesting. I just want to say that to you if you're interested, guys. Um, but yeah, always I, I love Nuketown. Like I say, it's always one of the main maps that I always go into in Mosh Pit. It seems as though everybody else likes that as well. That's why it always um, connects into the Nuketown. But for challenges, it is absolutely awesome because it is a small map, as you know, guys, and you can get those challenges out of the way fairly, fairly quickly. It's probably why I always do get them out of the way because I'm always playing Nuketown. But um, not to say the other maps aren't very good. They are absolutely amazing, all the other maps. It's just that we never go into them in Mosh Pit because everybody wants Nuketown, as I said. But um, you will find your challenges easier in Nuketown, as I said, because it is a smaller map. And everyone will run into one another. You can run into the spawns and guarantee to get those bloodthirsty kills and whatever have you. So that went a very good care package. A UAV, I just like getting those UAVs. You get so many. All right, you get the bonus points for it when other enemy, um, your teammates kill the enemy. But um, it doesn't really do anything to help along with the play in the game. Um, but yeah, this is a really good all-round gun, guys. And um, I'm going to leave it there. Actually, I'm just going to let you watch the rest of this gameplay. We're now going to move on to the number four in the list submachine gun, which I believe is the Vespa. So we're now going to go and make that video for you, and uh, we'll show you that at gold as well. But thank you so much for watching this, guys. I hope this has helped you in some way. Please don't forget to leave your comments if there's anything that I can help with. I'm always keen to help people in getting whatever it is, achievements you want out of the way for Call of Duty. So, uh, yeah, without further ado, guys, um, I'll leave you with the video, and thank you so much for watching. Securing B.